Sampler is a comprehensive multi-sampling playback engine, as well as a powerful sound sculpturing tool. You can import third-party libraries as well as create and edit your own multi-samples. Let's import a Giga Studio sample to show you how easy it is. Before we proceed, let's record a short vocal sample in live, which we'll use to put some of Sampler's features into practice. Test. One, two. Now we'll drop Sampler into our live set and drag our recording into Sampler. Test. One, two. Here in the Sample tab, we can graphically edit the loop points. Set up different loop modes, such as one shot, looping, and forward then reverse. Let's make a short loop out of our vocal sample. Test. One, two. And then turn on the link button, which links the start of the loop. Let's turn up the crossfade amount to make loop playback smoother. We also have standard settings like volume, root key, tuning, panning, and different loop points. Now we'll go to the modulate tab where things get interesting. Here we have an auxiliary envelope which can be freely routed to several modulation sources. Let's assign it to loop start and adjust the attack, sustain, release, and decay of the envelope. Back on the Sample tab, we can play around with the loop length. If we make the loop smaller, we get closer to classic time-stretching sounds. Loop these envelopes to create strange and interesting things. This envelope can control more than one parameter, for instance, pitch. We could also achieve a similar result with a low frequency oscillator. Sampler has three LFOs. One is designed like the LFO on Ableton's Simpler instrument for compatibility. Two additional LFOs can be freely routed to many other parameters in Sampler. Let's assign one with a random waveform to loop start. First, we'll turn on LFO 3 and assign it to loop start. Now let's go to the Filter and Global tab, where we have a multi-mode filter with envelope control, a wave shaper for saturating and shaping before the filter, and a volume envelope. Two of the filter modes are morphable. For instance, we can morph from a low-pass filter, moving to a band pass, to a high pass, to a notch, and back to a low pass. Let's go back to the modulation tab and assign three LFOs to control the frequency, resonance, and morph parameters of the filter. Wow, 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 wow,
Let's go back and listen to the original sample again. Test. One, two. In the pitch oscillator section, we have a pitch envelope and a modulation oscillator. This oscillator can do frequency modulation and amplitude modulation, which can be very useful in sound design. These oscillators have different waveforms, which can modulate the frequency of the sample and the audible range in the case of FM. Let's create some interesting sounds with FM modulation. The oscillators can also be controlled by velocity or by another LFO. Here's the original sample again. Test. One, two. Next, let's open the zone editor. Here we can graphically edit key and velocity zones of multi-samples. This is good for reproducing instruments with different timbres in high or low octaves, or for playing different sounds when using a harder or softer attack. You can also crossfade between the different key or velocity zones and edit the crossfade length. On the final tab, we have several MIDI sources, which we can freely route to key, velocity, release velocity, channel pressure, mod wheel, and pitch wheel to give the sound more expression. You can use MIDI controllers to control all these parameters. Let's drag a few instances of sampler into a rack. Now we can trigger different sampler sounds based on incoming velocity. Or note range. You can also scroll through different samplers with a knob or expression pedal. Or create sophisticated release sounds with live MIDI note length effect. With sampler, you can go beyond classic multi-sampling. We've showed you what sounds you can create with just one small vocal recording. Check out the demo to find out what you can do with sampling.